Alright so in this video, I'll explain literally everything in Piggy, including what we can expect from Intercity. This will include the entirety of Book 1 and 2 so make sure to subscribe since this will take a while. First of all, let's talk about the infection itself. As we know from the true ending of Book 1 and the Season 1 journal entries, Mr. P wasn't entirely to blame for the infection, as it was clearly tampered with in some way. As we all know, the infection spreads when an infected attacks you, rather than a direct contact. This is odd, since we see characters like Willow fighting an infected without any harm. This brings me on to my next point, how does the infection work? Well, in the mansion chapter, we see a board made by Eddie with a few keywords on it. Of these are the south ruins which I will get to later in the video, as well as tiredness being connected to the infection. As we saw in all of the book 2 endings, Pony gets tired in all of them except the hidden ending. Interestingly, the hidden ending was the only ending where Pony didn't become infected. This isn't the only link between infection and tiredness though. In the outpost map, there is a message on the wall, which when decoded says I feel everything that I do. I cannot control my actions. I can't help myself. My mind screams for help, but my body does not agree. I wish the world would understand. This suggests that this feeling of overwhelming tiredness is simply because of the infection, which is taking over one's body. Even then, we can draw more links. Notice how Bunny sits down before becoming infected, showing this tiredness yet again. Now that we've covered that, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The Insolence. The Insolence is a cult-like group who worships the Eye of Insolence, a graffiti-like symbol scattered all over the second half of Book 2. Orange eyes referenced in many different places. Let's start with their origins. From what we can gather from the Season 4 journal entry and the Mansion chapter, it seems that the South Ruins are their origins, because of how they seem to be their first appearance. However this location must be called Ruins for a reason, suggesting the existence of something else beforehand. Something far more sinister. In the Mansion chapter, we can see a crystal calling towards the South Ruins. However, in the Sewers chapter, we see a note that says, Light the beacon. Summon it. The texture tells us that it's old, but also that it's related to the insolence as nodes seem to possess that texture. This would mean that the node is speaking from the past, saying that the insolence must have already been summoned. We know that the mansion chapter occurred before the infection began, so it would make perfect sense for the crystal to have been the summoning tool of the insolence. We know that Eddie joined the expedition with Finley from the Season 4 journal. From this, we can understand that the South Ruins must be a power base from the insolence. This makes a lot more sense when we see that the military moved north from a note under a car in the storm map. As for the Eye of Insolence itself, there's actually some story to that too. One of the leaks the Minotoon posted onto Twitter was an emoji, called an Azar amulet, coming from the Arabic word of sight, commonly used to represent the evil eye. We see this same design in the flooring of the plant map, and when we invert the colors, it reveals a shape similar to the Eye of Insolence. The evil eye is used to show a curse or a supernatural being that can inflict these on people, commonly in the Abrahamic faiths. It also has relevance in Egyptian folklore, which is particularly interesting. In the docks map, there is a tomb with three sarcophaguses inside of it. One of those names reads King Milo, the second reads Queen Viola, and is referenced with links to the afterlife, and realm of the dead, also linked again to Egypt. There's another thing that's interesting here as well. This map, the docks, is pretty odd, being situated underneath Doveport, but also having ancient significance as well with a tomb and a maze, somewhere worthy of an expedition as seen in the note found in the maze. Why would there be a tomb here? This is questioned so much more in the chapter with notes like did they know there was a tomb here when they built the docks? Our answer is in one of the other notes. It feels like the world has gone silent and moved past us. This is literally telling us that most of the lower section of the docks isn't meant to be there and has been transported from somewhere else. Now, take a look at this note here. This room is peculiar. What purpose does, and did it serve? On with the expedition. When we look at the word expedition, it's mentioned in one other place in the whole of Piggy, 
Finley's Southern Expedition, mentioned in the journal for Season 4. We know from the Mansion Chapter, that this is the South Ruins, the power base of the Insolence. Kano mentions in the journal entry for Season 6 about a southern desert, where the South Ruins is most likely located. Ruins in a desert could be like the ancient tombs from Egypt where they would house the pharaoh's body. In this same season, we see a style for the Kamosi skin called, Kamosi Alternae. A skin that has a black inky substance flowing from his eye. He also wears a nebs, something common to be worn by pharaohs. Regardless of if it's canon, it clearly shows this link. Remember how I said there were three sarcophaguses? Well, the middle one is a bit odd. As it's in the middle, it's most likely to be the child of both King Milo and Queen Viola, however, this one has no name but has a note saying the word soon if the crawling trap is summoned. Now, Let's talk about T.O., and where he came from. T.O. is the supposed leader of the Insolence. He tells his whole backstory in the Distraction chapter. He was a kid living in our world, who couldn't speak. Because of this, he was neglected by everyone else. Then, he met someone from beyond, which seems to be another dimension entirely. They became friends until he was banished by the people. Following this, he gave him a face, one that had a smile. Now, if we look at the T.O. model, we can actually see a smile sewn through his sack. Throughout the whole of Piggy, we see different creatures, like the Ombra or the Crawling Trap or the Sentinel. Each of these seem to share the dark inky substance that they're made from as well, similar to what we see in the Distraction and Distorted Memory chapters. There's actually a secret audio recording in the game, that you can access in the ship map. When reversed, we hear this. On the first line, it says Z will never speak. This is actually true as Z has never spoken before in game. This same thing happened to T.O. suggesting that Z may meet the same fate. What I want to focus on here, is that somebody's speaking, but our character doesn't pick up on what's being said. Neither do the people who originally heard the transmission. In Piggy, text has always been portrayed as dialogue boxes, but this is the first time that we hear actual words that nobody else understands. Therefore, it is extremely likely that beyond is our dimension. This is further shown by how the player and T.O. are the only beings remotely human-like. Even then, it is a stretch, but it is still possible. T.O. has other names, the Insolent, the Entity and the Iniquitous One, showing us his evil intentions. After T.O. was banished, the friend betrayed T.O. for becoming too similar to him. It is said that he made that very clear to the world. In the hidden ending, T.O. mentions an incident called a Grand War, which could have been what T.O.'s friend had initiated. This is also foreshadowing a future event in Piggy Intercity, the Piggy game that's being worked on right now and isn't out yet, but it's a choose-your-story type game. In the hidden ending, we see this weird texture on the walls, similar to the ones we see when hallucinating or being watched. It is very possible that we're still stuck inside our own mind, and nothing actually really happened. At the first exit for the lab chapter, we see a note that talks about the corruption of the military and the government which seems to be a recurring theme leading up to Intercity. On Twitter, there is an account called The Capital, followed by all of the developers of Intercity, showing its significance. There are leaks with government-like figures hiding things from the general public like the Eye of Insolence. One of the contest skins, Fergus, may fit into Intercity as well, as there seem to be links between the Insolence and the military. Now, let's talk about the Lonesome Wayfarer. This is a character who's extremely rare to come across in the current demo version of Intercity. His name is mentioned in the Season 6 journal entry, but little is known about other than how he helps travelers, which sets him up as a direct opposition to the military and Insolence. I've mentioned the concept of a grand war, but this time may be foreshadowing, as it shows the lonesome wayfarer to be a threat to both. This being can also teleport around which is odd, as we are unaware of how this teleporting works. Here's the most controversial part of this video, and it's all to do with Marcus. 
Marcus is the only character who has never been directly referred to as infected, but instead the term beast or creature is used. This suggests that there is something else other than the typical infection. This is highlighted when we look at how different the way Marcus became violent and aggressive, following a series of whispers and thoughts, he turned. This allows the insolence to completely take control, causing their face to become darker and have a full insolence eye, unlike some infected who have partial insolence eyes. This means that there are now two types of infected. Those who have been attacked by an infected or drank the potion, and those that have been directly attacked by the insolence. However, there also seems to be another type that's a mixture of the two. We see that certain infected seem to possess a hive mind, as they coordinate together and travel in groups, as mentioned in Kona's note. These infected have orange eyes, as well as a black sclera. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video as well as commenting your theories below. This video took a long time to make so it would be appreciated.